Today I received one of my favorite newsletters, the Exchange Messaging Outlook newsletter, and it had an article in it about a new sync tool from Google that allows synchronization with Outlook. Now, Google calendars have been able to synchronize, or you've been able to pull in Google calendars um, into your Outlook, but this tool provides two-way synchronization. So I'm pretty excited to test this out. Thought I'd do a little video demo on it so everybody could see how this works. Basically, you log into your Google account, and you'll notice at the top it'll say Sync with Microsoft Outlook Calendar. So I'm going to click on that. And again, the new feature about this is two-way synchronization, so that's really key. So I'm going to click on that. Brings me to this Google page, and it says here, just launched Sync Google Calendar with your Microsoft Outlook Calendar. And I can see a little picture down here of what the settings are going to look like. Sync options, two-way Google to Outlook, or one-way Outlook to Google. So let's go ahead and check this out. I'm going to click on the Learn More link. And it's going to ask me to install this little application. But you'll notice on the settings, when it comes up after you install the executable file, it defaults to sync every 120 minutes. I'm scrolling down on this page, but it does say that I can change the sync interval, but that I can only do a minimum interval of 10 minutes. So 10 minutes is the quickest interval that you can sync back and forth. So keep that in mind. If, if 10 minutes two-way synchronization is not good enough for you, then that might be a problem. But for most people, that should be just fine. And this help page gives you a little bit more information about what you're expected to see. And it talks about the icon that's going to be in your system tray in the lower right corner of your desktop. And it's usually where the uh, time is on your on your desktop. So it tells you here that to access the Google Calendar Sync Settings window, just right click on the calendar icon in your Windows system tray and select Options. When your events are actively syncing between Google, Google Calendar and Microsoft Outlook Calendar, you'll see arrows in the Google Calendar Sync icon. Goes back and forth. I can, right now I'm seeing that happening. They're going back and forth, up and down. And then when events aren't actively syncing, your calendar icon will look like this. So not much going on. So let's actually watch this happen. I'm going to add something to my Google Calendar from Outlook. Let's see if it shows up. First off, let's look at the Google Calendar now that it has synchronized with my Outlook Calendar. So I can see here in Google that these are the items for this week on my Outlook Calendar. So again, it synchronizes my Outlook Calendar with my primary Google Calendar. So this is really great. So before the sync, I created a new appointment for today at 1.30 p.m. I created it in Google, and I'm going to run the sync, and let's see if it shows up in Outlook. And on the same token, let's switch over to Outlook, I created a new item in Outlook from 3 to 4.30. I'm going to run the sync. And by the time the sync is done, I should see both of these items on both of these calendars. Let's run that sync. Wow, that was excellent. So you can see now I've got both of the items in my Outlook calendar, the one that was created in Google, and obviously the one I created in Outlook. Let's switch over to the Google calendar. I had to refresh the web page in the Google Calendar, but notice that I have, again, both of the items, the first one that I created in Google, obviously that's going to be there, but here is the item created in Outlook. So let's talk about some of the possibilities that this brings to the table. I'm especially interested in this for people like virtual assistants who manage other people's calendars how this type of functionality is now going to fit into the scheme of things to make it easier for them to do this. Now imagine I'm a virtual assistant. I have a client who has a Google Calendar that I have access to. And as I understand it, this sync tool works with Outlook 2003 and Outlook 2007. 
So that's still great news for those people who have not yet upgraded to Outlook 2007 but are still using Outlook 2003. So really, for a virtual assistant, this is great if you are the virtual assistant and have this set up for your client, the sync tool, then you can create and manage their calendar via Google and they can manage their calendar through Outlook and the two will be synchronized together so you can update their calendar, they'll see it in Outlook, they can make some changes or do something on their Outlook calendar and you'll see those changes happen on the Google calendar and, and again it's just your, your um, primary Google calendar synchronizes with the a primary Outlook calendar. That's not something that can be changed as far as what Outlook calendar it is synchronizing with. So that might be a very important uh, limitation to some people. So anyway, I thought it was a very cool feature and just something else out there available to help people be more productive using Outlook and Google and calendar synchronization. A again, great for a virtual assistant environment. So hopefully this is going to be helpful to some of you, and I hope you enjoyed the video demo. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.